الله الحمد لله رب العالمين وهو الله لا اله الا هو له الحمد في الاولى والاخره وله الحكم واليه ترجعون والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وخاتم النبيين اكرم الاولين والاخرين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعاله وصحابه اجمعين قال الله تعالى عز وجل شهر رمضان الذي انزل فيه القران هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان قال المايتي رفيق واسم ذا هولي قران ذا منتا فور رمضان جورين ويتش ذا قران از رفيق a guidance for mankind and it has a clear signs of guidance and a criterion of right and wrong my dear brothers in islam we have gathered for the celebration of the eid ul fitr and my message to you and our brothers and sisters around the globe is that god almighty have sent the book of guidance for us which is the holy quran and god almighty says that it has a clear signs of guidance and a criterion of right and wrong now in the world of today if we see our self our governments our people we are in a vast number of problems problems which are economical social and political and problems which are lack of organization within our society you see god almighty wants you to be a person of knowledge and wisdom he sent a great prophet a prophet who is a mercy for the mankind for the whole of mankind now if we are to follow the proper example of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then we will have no problems but unfortunate thing amongst us is that we have not acquired the full knowledge and full understanding of the mission of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the full fire ashiq now we had come to uk as a working force as a labor force and within this criterion god almighty has given us the opportunity to see the light of islam in a different way because here you have a country which was a developed technologically and scientifically and we are now able to see islam through the light of technology and through the light of science and through the light of a advanced uh, political state of our younger generation which we must all work brothers is that only going to be a proper muslim if we dedicate ourselves to the criterion of islam subhanallah mashallah so you see ramadan a month of blessing ramadan a month of forgiveness ramadan a month of retreat ramadan a month of spirituality ramadan a month of revelation of god coming to mankind a ramadan a month which gives us a night which is better than 1000 months ramadan which doubles our benefit from god almighty to the 70 fold and sometimes to 700 folds so god increases our charitable status during the month of ramadan now you are we are lucky people but we must share my dear brothers the benefit of ramadan with other nations we must share the benefit and the wisdom of the ramadan with other faiths we must
must share the goodness of the Ramadan with other people and show that this is the benefit which we have achieved and the God has blessed us and we want you also to come and benefit from the month of Ramadan and from the faith of the Deen Islam. But the most important thing, we must make our attachment of our new generation with the proper people. People who are upright, free of greed, free of exploitation and free of using other people's resources for their personal fame. Islam has a criterion of merit. Inna karamaku in the The best person or the most honorable amongst you in the sight of God is the one who is the most righteous. And the righteous path, my dear brothers, is that, and our sisters around the globe, is that we follow the command of God and the way of his beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the way of full fire Ashaqi. If we move away from there, then our righteousness gradually disappears into the thin air and we have no ground whatsoever. In the modern world of today, we are in problem and suffering of our nations because we have our politicians, people who govern us, some of them who have the small knowledge of Islam and some have nothing, no understanding of the knowledge of Islam. Now when you are in this situation, they are not able to see our need, they are not able to see how we can develop, they are not able to draw a plan or to give us a way of guidance because they are misguided themselves. So we need in this world to make proper decisions, decisions which are in line with the guidance of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and decisions which are in line with the teaching of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I would say to you now, my dear brothers, that we must make a resolution, a resolution that we will be obedient to God Almighty, that we will follow the sunnah of His beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we will be a better Muslim for the future and we will try to improve the quality of our life, the quality of our social life, quality of our spiritual life and the quality of our political participation and inshallah put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allah Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar La ilaha illa Allah
They're about 10 seconds away from being in the spotlight. They're about 10 seconds away from being in the spotlight. Got all the evidence. Thank <laughs> you.